Hey there, Ricardo here, DiverseSolutions.com, and in this video tutorial, I wanted to show you how to build a landing page for a specific community that has IDX data displayed on it. In our DSID Express webinars, we cover uh, a lot of the kind of the basic overview of how to use DSID Express to display listing data on your website. And one of the questions we get is, well, what are some of the best practices for building out some of those community pages? So I thought I'd show you a few examples and then take you into the process of creating a post. Uh, this first example is lorib.com. They have a great looking website. Um, I believe it was one of the pre-designed websites by Virtual Results. If we look over on the navigation, we have a Communities tab with a nice little drop down. If I scroll down and click on Weddington, for example, it takes me to a landing page created specifically for Weddington and you'll notice we have about maybe three paragraphs of welcome text welcoming the reader or visitor to the community of Weddington it describes specifically what area Weddington encompasses so just due south of Charlotte at the corners of Highway 16 Providence Road and Highway 84 there's a nice picture of a home in the area nice call to action here that says please call Lori B today at this number if you have any questions and then uh, this is simply using the short code to display all of the recent listings in the city of Weddington if you want to see more listings you would just click on the link where it says see more city of Weddington real estate and it takes you to the virtual page created for that specific uh, that specific search uh, another example here if we go to PasadenaViews.com over on the right hand side we have this uh, variety of local city guides that have been created if I click on Alhambra city guide as an example you'll notice that it brings me to a page with a, a, a pretty neat welcome video and then as we look further on the page and scroll down we have uh, additional information such as some of the history behind Alhambra uh, some of the main activities and attractions in the area um, in addition we have you know information on the local farmers market that takes place um, every Sunday um, we also have a list of all of the different restaurants and places to visit and places to eat so this is kind of an all-encompassing uh, just as the title of the page says Alhambra City Guide it really gives you a lot of meaty information as far as what makes up the community and then down below uh, this has taken the sort of Lori B example taking a step further you're using we're using link structure to display all of the homes for sale within a certain price range and then down below of course you have uh, property listings what makes this a little bit different is that you have a good internal link structure going uh, within those landing pages and then here if we go back to that uh, Lori B example where you have the landing page it I'm looking at listings that are in various price ranges. So here there's a listing at 695,000, then down below there's a listing at 139,000. So say I'm a consumer and my price range is 100 to 200,000. That pretty much takes these two other listings makes them a little less relevant or or, or highly less relevant. Um which makes this sort of format much more pleasant or easier to search. I'm essentially telling the consumer, hey, if you want to search for homes in Alhambra between a certain price range, no problem. Just come over here and click on either of these links and you'll see all of those properties. So all of that said, I would, uh, if I was creating a landing page for Irvine, for example, I would take um, a blend of these two examples and put them together. So I thought I'd show you what that looks like. First thing we'll do is we'll log into your WordPress dashboard and then you'll go over to pages and create a new page and here while you're creating that new page what I would do is we're gonna title our page Irvine real estate guide I have the title for my page as Irvine real estate because uh, I want that to be uh, that descriptive keyword phrase to be in the title and then from here what I want to do is add a couple of paragraphs of descriptive text uh, to welcome users to the community so I'm just using placeholder text here uh, but you'll include your three paragraphs of descriptive text you might even include an image there that's of the local community 
So let's see if I can um, if I have an image here that I can use. Let's, let's use this one. None. Align it right. Go ahead and insert into the post. So there's my image and there's my three paragraphs of welcome text. Down at the bottom, I then want to create that section. Um, maybe put a call to action that says to see all listings in Irvine bookmark this page listings are updated every couple of hours because I want to set hours <laughs> I want to set the expectation that consumers can come back to this page and look at updated listing data in real time right my next step is to go down and create a section so I want to say homes for sale in Irvine by price range. So here I'm telling consumers or site visitors you can search Irvine Homes for Sale by price range. Just look below. And then what I want to do is I want to type out my bullet list. So I'll do, do search Irvine Homes for Sale between 300 and 400,000 and then I'll repeat that over and over again for all of the various price ranges that I want to go ahead and include between 400,000 and 500,000 and then one more search Irvine homes for sale between 500,000 and 600,000 the last thing I want to do here is in this section below is I want to include short code so I'll look at that multiple property marker icon I want to include the short code to display all of the listings in the city of Irvine so under area type I'll select city under area name of course Irvine I'll do residential all and then I want to display the newest listings I've hit the market first I'm only going to choose to display the top 10 if they want to see more listings they can click on see more listings in the city of Irvine so I'm done here I'll click on insert listings and it'll insert that short code for me my post is pretty much done uh, the only thing I need to come in and do is figure out what I need to link to here and we'll use link structure for that so I'm gonna open up a new tab here my link structure since I'm pulling up listings in the city of Irvine is gonna be uh, my website domain mydomain.com forward slash IDX slash city as my area type and then the city name which in this case is Irvine so if I click on that you'll notice that it takes me to the virtual page for all of the listings in the city of Irvine this accounts using test data so that we only see one through 18 um, but now the next thing I want to do is filter by price range so I want to do between uh, what did I say in my post between 300 and 400,000 so I want to insert what's known as parameters and, and, a, and apply a maximum price point and a minimum price point so whenever I'm inserting parameters I'll preface my first parameter with a question mark and then I'll do my parameter for maximum price which is IDX dash Q dash price max equals and in this case 400,000 and then I'll separate that parameter with my next parameter which for the minimum price point with an ampersand the and symbol and then I'll proceed to insert my my next parameter which is IDX dash Q dash price capital P price minimum equals 300,000 and what I've done here is I've centrally inserted a link structure for all of the listings in the city of Irvine and then I've included parameters for a maximum price point and a minimum price point so if I hit enter it'll take me to the virtual page for all of the listings in the city of Irvine only between 300,000 and 400,000 so I see these two properties here one on 10 Sunny Street at 304 and then one at 15 Sunny Street at 390 so all I have to do is take that link structure and insert a hyperlink in this section here of where I created my bullet list so I'll look over where it says insert hyperlink I'll paste my link in there I want to go ahead and title that link sale between 300,000 and 400,000 right I'll click on add link 
And then, since I have already know what the link structure is, for homes for sale between three and four hundred thousand, I'm really using the same link structure for homes for sale between and four and five hundred thousand. The only thing I'm changing is that initial value at my maximum price point. Instead of four, I want it to five, and in my the first initial value on my minimum price point, instead of three, I want it set to four. I click on add link. I want to title this, of course, but I'll click on add link, and voila. I've done the same there for my next uh, bullet point and then the same thing down below. I'm just adjusting that initial value so that you have the right uh, price ranges established. Click on add link and voila, I'm done. The only thing I'm left to do here is hit publish. So if I go ahead and hit publish on that page and I go to view my page, here's my new landing page. Irvine Real Estate Guide I have three paragraphs of descriptive text uh, telling the site visitor the areas that this uh, particular guide encompasses. I have a neat photo of the community. Uh, down below I have kind of a setting and expectation to see all listings in Irvine bookmark this page. Listings are updated every couple of hours so I'm setting the expectation that if you want to access up-to-date listing data you can do so at this page and then down below in addition to having the short code displayed on the page which shows all of the newest listing based on the newest ones to hit the market first because they're in various different price ranges I also have a little uh, guide here where you can search homes for sale in Irvine by price range so if I click on search homes for sale in Irvine between three and four hundred thousand it takes me to the virtual page for those listings same thing if I click on between four and five hundred thousand. It takes me to the virtual page for information within those price ranges. So that's it. Pretty easy to build a real estate guide once you figure out what link structure you want to include. This is the format that I would use for building a landing page. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next tutorial. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.